good afternoon friends uh, and welcome back to the class of user interface design so we have almost uh, not almost we have completed uh, kinds of graphical menus in med module 3 so from today onwards we are going to begin with module 4 uh, I'm not going to explain everything in uh, detail which I have been doing uh, since beginning of uh, this online classes because of that I feel we are uh, lagging in the syllabus so I'll try to finish as early as possible because even the management and principal uh, wants us to fin finish the syllabus by May 3 I don't know whether it is possible or not because still there are two modules to be yet to be finished anyhow uh, without wasting much time so let us begin with module 4 this module is completely on the windows okay uh, for a, like uh, so module 3 was completely on the menus okay so I think uh, we will begin uh, so uh, step 5 that is where it went yeah yeah select the proper uh, kinds of menus So uh, a window is an area of, uh, of the screen, usually rectangular in shape, defined by a border that contains a particular view of some area of the computer or some portion of person's dialogue with the computer. For everything, uh, this is also a window. If I minimize this window, we get another window. Okay, so every, for example, so this, you, I can just move this look here again this is so every window has got a border okay again uh, <coughs> so a window is an uh, area of the screen usually rectangular in shape defined by a border that contains a particular view of some area of computer or some portion of a person's dialogue with the computer so we are going to discuss about uh, these things windows characteristic components presentation styles so let us begin with windows characteristics a window is seen to possess the following characteristics the first one is a uh, name or title along uh, allowing it to be identified so every window should have a name or a title a size in height and width again which can vary because some of the windows are small, some are medium, some, some are uh, big. A state or accessible or active or not accessible. Only active windows can have their contents altered. If it is a non-active window, then you cannot alter the content of that particular window. Then visibility, the portion that can be seen. Okay, Then there are some portions of the window which cannot be able to see. Uh, a window may be partially or fully hidden behind another windows okay for example uh, look here now you, you cannot see okay you cannot see yeah ba back side of this window okay so uh, or the information within a window may extend beyond the windows display area so now the attraction of window whatever information is is available within this uh, header is not available so when i go be, go down then only the po this portion is available to me now so that is what we are discussing now a location a relative to the display boundary boundary presentation that is its arrangement in relation to other windows it may be tiled overlapping or cascading for example you see show window stacked show windows side by side by side okay so this is a different ways in which you can view the window stock uh, show task view button oh, sorry not this i think now you see all the windows are shown side by side so th there are different ways in which uh, you can view the windows then uh, management capabilities methods for manipulation of the window on the screen it's highlight that is a part that is selected so for example this part i have selected now so this is highlighted again uh, the function 
task or application to which it is dedicated the attraction of windows okay uh, that is why this coin was termed by basically by the microsoft even uh, they have named the operating system uh, okay as windows only windows operating systems okay the value of windowing is best seen in the context of a task or a job a person performs a variety of tasks often in a fairly unstructured manner okay a person is asked to monitor and manipulate data from a variety of sources synthesize information summarize information and recognize information so just try to imagine a scenario where you are just copying some information okay you are copying some information from one website and pasting it uh, in a word document for example as we do for our assignments okay so just try to imagine if it is single screen technology where you can see only or you can use only a single window i mean single screen then it would have become very difficult to do such type such kind of tasks so alternatively what i am doing now i'll i'll do like this okay i'll just drag it okay then i'll open one uh, i will open one uh, uh word document i'll copy here and i'll paste here i'll copy here and i'll paste here so that is the advantage of using the windows single screen technology supports this work this work structure very poorly since only one screen of information can be viewed at one time comparing or integrating information from different sources on different screens often requires extensive use of one's memory because uh, see that is why if you go to any government organizations or government research labs mostly they will be use they will be using two monitors okay so side by side so that in one monitor they will be viewing some other information in another monitor they will be viewing some other information so this is how you can uh, this reduces uh, okay uh, uh, a human to remember many things why the human has to remember so many things right so when everything is available on a monitor i mean screen you can just copy and paste or you can just compare or you can just integrate the information the appeal of windowing is that it allows the display workplace to mirror the desk work workplace much more closely okay uh, this dramatically reduces uh, one's short term memory load okay so uh, there are uh, advantages as well as disadvantages of windows so we'll begin with uh, looking at the advantages the first one is presentation of different levels of information okay so by utilizing the windows you can present the information at different levels information can be examined in increasing levels of detail okay a, docu a document table of contents can be presented in a window then that is the first advantage increasing level of detail in the sense for example uh, if i want to go i am unable to read it then i'm just giving an example so you can just so increasing level of detail okay so then presentation of multiple kinds of information so variable information needed to complete a task can be displayed simultaneously in adjacent windows just now i did that right so you can show the window side by side or show show window stack or cascade windows so this is how you can represent the multiple uh, information through multiple windows so that is another advantage the, the third advantage is sequential presentation of labels or kinds of information so you can sequentially present the information okay Sh steps to accomplish a task can be sequentially presented through the windows successive windows are presented until all the required details are collected so for example enter your name then i go to the next window enter your blood group then i go to the next window so something like this so sequentially you can collect all the information then access to different source of information independent sources of information may have to be accessed 
uh, at the same time so independent sources of information may have to be accessed at some time same time this information may reside in different host computers operating systems applications files or areas of the same file so using uh, this windows concept you can access different sources to collect the information okay okay then uh, we will stop here and continue in the next video thank you